Okay, Jerry, tell me about this movie. Now, am I supposed to look at you or supposed to look at your little Whichever flip? Whichever you prefer. Okay, I'll look at you. Okay. I like looking at pretty women, so that's good. <laughs> what was your question? Well, tell me about this movie. It's about Nicolas Cage, who is a sorcerer, and he's traveled a thousand years to find an apprentice to fight evil. And he finds him in a contemporary New York City today. And he finds this young man who's kind of a nerd, who's been in love with this girl for, since he was 10 years old, and doesn't have the courage to even ask her out. Meet Nicholas, finds out he's he's the, the person who is related to Merlin and has this gift, and he's a sorcerer's apprentice. So Nicholas has to teach him about sorcery. And through his knowledge and learning about sorcery, he gets the courage uh, to ask out his love. So it changes his and, life. As and as they fight off the evil spirits and win the day. You know, this is a fantastic, it must have been a real challenge to adapt such a well-known um, story, um, you know, from the Disney Disney movie. Well, the hard part is, it, it's a sequence, so the hard part is to make sure that sequence fits in the movie and you can't take it out. So it's an integral part of the plot, which is exactly what John Turtletop did with it. Yeah. It's a fan, it's phenomenal, the music and everything. You got the whole thing. I know. We I think we pulled it off. You know, when we show the movie, uh, that sequence gets an applause when it's over, which is really kind of yeah. nice. Yeah. Love that. I love the way that it kind of incorporates a lot of the magic of Harry Potter and yet the action that you're so well known for. Yeah, we try to, you know, incorporate the two, but the difference with us is contemporary. It's here in New York City, and, yeah. and that's a lot of fun to watch. You know, every day, every day city that all of us know is a huge icon around the world, and, and watch magic go on there. Now, did you do any magic tricks when you were young? No, that wasn't me. I, my hands weren't nimble. <laughs> And did you um, did you have fond memories of the original Disney movie? Absolutely. You know, I saw it. You know, recently, of course, before we made the movie, and I saw it a few years prior to that. And how about casting Jay? He's such an interesting choice. Well, Jay is somebody that I worked with in the past. He did a TV series for us, briefly. And when his name came up, I said, "He's perfect for this part. This is wonderful." He's very relatable, I think. Oh yeah, he's he's the real deal. He's a wonderful actor. He's you know he's a crazy Montreal uh, hockey fan, and we had great discussions about hockey on the set. Now tell me about Nick, casting Nick. He really rocks that leather coat. Well, I didn't cast him. He cast me. <laughs> he came to me and said, we have the script. I'd love you to work on it with us. And he got, got together, brought John Turtletaub in, and developed the screenplay with him. He's already had one screenplay. We just embellished it. And, you know, we went out and made the movie. Disney agreed, and they liked what we were doing. And we got the rock and roll sorcerer. Oh, it's amazing. Well, that's great, Jerry. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. It's a great movie. It's oh, good. Great. Thank you.